Hi, my name is Rick Roman, and welcome to How To Wilderness. In this video, we're going to cover the basics of wilderness knots. When you're traveling in the outdoors, it's important that you remain self-sufficient. There will certainly be times when you'll need to hang things, you'll need to repair things, you'll need to build things. Being able to tie basic wilderness knots is an important skill. Any good wilderness knot has at least these three characteristics. It's easy to tie, it serves a specific purpose, and it's easy to untie. There are literally hundreds of different knots in varying complexity and difficulty. It is far better to be very competent in a few simple knots than to be mediocre in a long list. Knots fall into a few general categories. Loops, hitches, bends, and lashings. In loops, the rope is tied to itself independent of another object. If you only know one loop, it should probably be the bowline. In hitches, the rope is tied directly to an object. A good example of a hitch is a clove hitch. In bends, the rope is tied to another rope to extend it. If you only know one bend, it should probably be the sheet bend. In lashings, two objects are tied together using rope. A sheer lashing is a good example of a lashing. Being able to untie a knot is critical. Knots that are subjected to heavy load or weather like rain and cold can be extremely difficult to untie. Make sure the knots you learn have a reputation for being easy to untie. One challenge in learning new knots is terminology. A rope doesn't seem to have many parts and being able to describe how to tie a knot can be challenging in words. Here are some standard terms that you may find useful. The running end is the free end you use to tie a knot. The standing part is the static end of the rope opposite the running end. An overhand loop is a loop which goes over the standing part. An underhand loop is a loop which goes under the standing part. A turn is a loop around an object. A bite is a bend in a rope which doesn't go across itself. Mastering knots takes practice. Make sure you're very comfortable with a few basic knots before you go out into the wilderness. I would stay focused on a bowland, a clove hitch, and a sheet bend. Once you've mastered those knots and you're ready to expand into other areas, please check out our demonstration videos. In the meantime, do it in the wilderness, we'll show you how. 